You may have heard of artificial general intelligence, a form of AI that possesses the ability to understand, learn and apply knowledge across a wide range of uh, tasks and disciplines. It can be applied to a much uh, broader set of uh, use cases and incorporates uh, cognitive uh, flexibility, adaptability and general problem solving skills. And you know very well that OpenAI took the early lead in the development of uh, generative AI, which are systems that uh, can uh, create text, images, code and indeed uh, other multimedia in uh, seconds. You know, it launched all of these uh, right around this time uh, last year, last year, 2022. And uh, Microsoft uh, immediately jumped on that opportunity, jumped on its uh, association with uh, the company. And this year, it invested uh, $10 billion. So they are uh, open AIs uh, hoping and relying on that uh, Microsoft will continue to uh, provide the financial back and the need for them to go on and uh, build out uh, um, AGI, Artificial General Intelligence. And because of uh, Microsoft's involvement, Microsoft's investment in, um, in uh, OpenAI and uh, the enhancement uh, uh, Bing has now had, you know, Microsoft is no longer uh, playing second fiddle to Google anymore. You know, it has become this, this association, this investment in OpenAI uh, and, uh, you know, the efficiency that uh, Generative AI has uh, provided to the, 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 the broader economy globally, you know, has now made the Microsoft stock a stock you just can't ignore. It just has to be, you know, in your portfolio. This is not to say that um, it wasn't the case before, you know, that it has now brought it, you know, right to the fore. You know, it's now one of the stocks you definitely you know, have to have. You're talking about efficiency today. It just has to be Microsoft. OpenAI is not trading at the moment, still private. So it has to be you know, a Microsoft. And OpenAI re relies on Microsoft. So indeed, you could say OpenAI, to, 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 to some extent, is uh, Microsoft. You know, so um, that's what we're looking at right now. So despite its uh, uh, consumer success, OpenAI seeks to progress uh, towards uh, building artificial general intelligence. And uh, some of the many things, some of the many models that are required to build out uh, artificial general intelligence includes uh, large language models. And large language models uh, underpins uh, ChatGPT. So the core of all of it all is also um, uh, LLM. So LLM is still very much required to build out uh, um, um, uh, artificial general intelligence. Okay, so in the latest step in its uh, plans to build a business model on top of uh, ChatGPT, um, OpenAI announced a new, a new announced uh, new tools and upgrades to its uh, chat uh, to, to its uh, GPT four model at an event uh, a few days ago. So the tools include uh, custom versions of uh, ChatGPT that can be tailored for specific applications and a GPT store or a marketplace of the, of the best apps. So the aim will be to split revenues uh, with uh, the most popular GPT creators in a business model that is uh, similar to um, App Store. Okay, so... Um, the biggest missing piece in the race for them to develop a open, um, so the, the, the biggest uh, missing piece in their drive to uh, develop or to develop um, AGI, artificial general intelligence, is uh, what is required uh, for the system to make uh, fundamental leaps in understanding. Okay, so so it would require, uh, or rather, the the company is um, uh, pointing to the launch of uh, GPTs. Um, according to Sam Altman, you know, AI was uh, is working to build uh, more autonomous agents uh, that can perform tasks such as uh, executing code, making payments, and uh, sending emails. So according to him, they will make uh, these agents uh, more and more powerful, you know, and uh, the actions will get more and more complex. The, the amount of business that uh, that uh, business value that that will uh, create will, will will be really big according to him you know 
So, uh, but all of that, all of this uh, development will require uh, uh, more data for the models to train on. So they have uh, made an open call to the public to, you know, provide them with uh, such data, you know. So, uh, I mean, data that are not exactly available to the public, you know, so that's what they are, they have done of late, you know, but uh, let's see how that one goes, you know, so to train the models that um, they are talking about now, we're talking about the GPT-5 as well, they are also working on that, and then the, and indeed, uh, these are the ones they are talking about, uh, the, uh, uh, what is it called, the the, the the agents the in what they call the what do they call them autonomous agents you know they will definitely um, uh, uh, rely on yet more uh, chips uh, the likes of um, Nvidia's uh, um, H uh, one hundred you know, which um, became uh, Silicon Valley's uh, hottest uh, commodity over the past year as uh, rivals uh, race to uh, secure the semiconductors needed to build uh, AI systems. You know, so supply ch shortages, su supply shortages of uh, H100, which uh, cost around forty thousand dollars a piece, had created a brutal crunch uh, all, the, all, the, all, all, all along all along this year, twenty twenty three. So OpenAI had uh, received uh, um, several of them. You know. And I was expecting more soon as well. So Sam Altman is uh, saying that um, next year, 2024, looks promising. But at the same time as well, Google, Microsoft, AMD, and Intel are also uh, racing ahead to develop their own AI chips. So the reliance of and on the, the reliance on uh, Nvidia uh, is not likely to continue as uh, things stand right now. You know, so. Um, OpenAI driving to uh, develop um, open sorry, to develop um, AGI artificial general intelligence. They are hoping that they're going to receive more funding from Microsoft, and indeed uh, Microsoft has uh, tremendously benefited from the success and the yeah, the consumer success of uh, OpenAI and its uh, systems. You know, so that's what's going on right now. If you didn't know. Um, do your research and find out more about um, artificial general intelligence and I'll definitely continue to update you thank you very much for watching this video